Hi guys, it's Marky. How's it going? I'm opening up a nice batch of Matchbox moving parts cars. These are brand new. I just found these at Walmart. And I'm so excited to have these. These are so cool. Let me put this back in here so I know where it goes. Check this out. This one is a Land Rover. And where do they have the name? Right there. 1975 Range Rover by Land Rover. The moving part is the front hood right here. That's as far as it goes. Let me bring this up a little closer. Just opening up these, uh, these awesome Matchbox cars. So I do have quite a collection. I've been buying the moving parts. I don't have all the ones they've made, but I have a bunch of nice moving parts. Not to be confused with a series that's called Matchbox Collection. I mean, Matchbox Collectors, I think. That one comes with a little box, like an old Matchbox type box, and it comes with rubber tires. But these come with the regular wheels and some wheels that we're familiar with. They just add the moving parts and some extra details, like in the front and the back. You can see it's all painted in. So really nice details on these. And they come in special packaging. The, the series that they call Matchbox Collectors, I think it's called, that brings a little box. All their cars have like special, they're a little more tricked out. They have like the rubber tires. They have the uh, really cool uh, wheels on them. And they do come, some of them, not all of them. Some of them do have moving parts. I think I'll be showing that uh, an update on my collection of... Uh, of those maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow i'll show the show those um but anyways this is pretty cool to finally get some of these i've been looking for <laughs> new die casts for a while there, there hasn't been that much to buy we keep getting repeats of the same hot wheels cases and there's been hardly no matchbox i mean i did find last week some of the new some of the new cars so i was happy to get those I guess I can't complain, but uh, I think I've missed out on some of the collector series and some of the um, moving parts that I have never even seen. This one does have partial um, partial windshield wipers on the die cast area and then part in the glass. See, it's kind of like made of two parts. And the rest is molded in the right in the glass. You can see that there. This one has mirrors all the way in front. No side ones over here, just all the way on the hood. The engine and all that is just one piece of a, like a cream colored plastic. Nice Range Rover name on the front, nice grill, awesome lights, parking lights, and the headlights are painted in there. We do have a silver bumper, which seems to be part of the plastic down here. 1975 Range Rover. There's the Matchbox name, R11. The exhaust comes all the way back here all the way towards the back copyright 2021 made in thailand beautiful so with the copyright 2021 i'm gonna say maybe this range rover is a new model for uh, this year usually they're copyrighted the year before they they issue them but really nice what do you think of this one guys kind of like a yellow mustard color nice black details Land Rover name right here or badge and then the Range Rover name up there little handle for the door back there that's cool access to the gasoline right there looks to be only a two-door vehicle with the uh, of course the uh, back opening as well but it's a beauty I love it how are you feeling about this one I also picked up a 2021 Mazda MX-30 and this is pretty cool look at this also Matchbox moving parts. Pretty nice MX-30 with the opening hatchback. Or what do you call that? The gate? Not a hatchback. With the little um, gate in the back. It does pop open, which is really cool. Now these don't have any other cards depicted on the back of the cards. Of the packaging. It's just kind of like all the uh, information back there. No pictures or anything. And they're all like that. But what a beauty. Look at that. Really cool opening 
part back there, there is a dog in there. Isn't that cool? Is this another new model? Copyright is what? 2021 Mazda MX-30. I mean, it's a 2021 vehicle, so it's got to be pretty new. And did it have a copyright down here? Yeah, copyright 2021. So there's our little elephant friend, by the way. Matchbox is probably uh, issuing this one for the first time. Very cool with a little dog back there. Mazda on the license plate. Check out that back end. Looks really, really nice. The color is a light, light blue. It might look grayish, but it's a, it's kind of like a blue-gray. But it's more of a bluish, bluish color. Not as bright as the golf color. You can compare right here. There's the light blue of the golf color. Makes it look even grayer when you put it next to him. But it does have a blue to it. Let me see if I put it next to a blue car. If we can tell that it does have blue in it. Yeah, I think with this car next to it, you can see the blue. But what a cool Mazda. I like this one a lot. It does have the mirrors on the side. It does have a little wing up here. Really nice lights on the back. The Mazda name, model, and all that. MX-30. It seems to be only a two-door. Is this a door back here? I'm not sure. There's no handle. Some of these are bringing or having the handles all the way up here now. I don't know if the Mazda brand is doing that, but uh, I've seen some cars with a handle all the way up here for the back. I don't know if that's something that's happening all over across the board or just on the sole in a couple other cars I've seen on the road. But what a nice Mazda. This one looks really cool. And of course, you got to love the... Uh, the uh, feature of the opening uh, trunk back there, or gate, tailgate. So cool. Kind of like, a, for those of you who collect vintage Matchbox, like I do, you like the old ones that have the moving parts. So this is really cool. Kind of gives that vintage feeling that they are they're continuing the tradition. Really cool. I have been able to buy a bunch of uh, moving parts and been having like uh, more and more added to the collection, but I think I did miss out on some with everything that's happening with distribution nowadays. I think I missed out on a few that came out and I never saw them. So I'm lucky to have found these and I think I was actually late to the party. I don't know if I'm missing any, but I, you know, I might be missing some. Let's take a look at another one I found. The Dipco truck. Now, I do have a couple of other Dipco's. I'm gonna, <clears throat> we'll compare them now, see what they look like different. Now, one of those back there is a Moving Parts Dipco. The other one is a Matchbox Collector Series. And as you know, we were talking about that at the beginning. There are a few different series that Matchbox has put out. And uh, Moving Parts is a series. We have the Hitch and Haul series. We have a lot of different series. And on this one, the moving parts are the back doors um, back here. Let's see if I can get them open. There we go. And you can see inside. Very, very cool. Opening doors. Island Fresh Skippers Shaved Ice Cream. That's pretty nice. I like that a lot. Let's get a little closer. Uh, something, something. Uh, uh, tiki Drink. Drinks. And uh, what does this say? Wiped ice? Ice cream. Oh, whipped. Whipped ice. Sorry, whipped. And then shaved ice over here. Matchbox. Look at that. In cursive. Pretty interesting. And that's all pretty cool. The Tiki God and all the little details. Really cool. And then we close this back here. Skippers. Island Fresh. Nice old school uh, hubcaps on there. These doors don't move at all. Neither one. They just look like they're open. It does have just the one seat. And it is a left side driver. No mirrors on the side on this big truck. You know he needs mirrors. No mirrors. Here's a top view. Really cool bumper. Old school bumpers on the uh, front and back. All part of the plastic base. Dipco truck, D-I-B-C-O. Copyright 2019 on this one, made in Thailand. 
Matchbox uh, name right there, really cool. Here's our little elephant friend, all the way in the corner. Pretty nice. Now, this color is so awesome, so bright, and the orange and green just look good together. It's got the purple in there too, which looks great. Nice color combos. We do have windshield wipers there. Details on the front, the grill looks great. Take out the Dipco badge, the lights, and the fenders in the uh, plastic. Look pretty good in the orange. And then back here, no lights painted in, but we do have a lot of sculpted detail that was put in the mold, but uh, no extra colors. We do have a little yellow up here. I don't know if that's like a handle to grab or just the slider for the door. A little, little something going on up there. Beautiful stripe. Kind of looks like a reminiscent of those old surfboards with a stripe down the middle. The vintage surfboards. Really cool truck. Now, as I was saying, I do have the golf one right here. This one, look at the difference. Look at the wheels. See, these are not wheels that you see on Matchbox cars all the time. This one, yeah, you're used to seeing this one. But the ones that are Matchbox Collector Series come with a little box inside the packaging, like a box right underneath the car. The car sits on top of the box. And they have rubber tires, with sometimes with treads, sometimes they're slicks. And they change up the, the wheels. They make them really unique. So this one, these are a little even more expensive than the, the moving parts because they come with the rubber tires. And I think they go that extra mile, give you a little more detail. Now, however, there, there are no extra lights painted in on the back. The front is very similar to this one. Same parts that are painted. The only exception, they have an extra decal up here or tampo work or whatever. But just enough tampo on the side to be kind of like similar to the amount of, of uh, tampos on the green one. But you can see the difference. The rubber tires, little extra something going on. Basically, on this model, I think it's basically almost the same. Just the tires changing the mags or the wheels. Now here's one that's just a moving part. So you can tell the big difference because it has the plastic wheels with just the really common uh, wheels that you see all the time, plastic tires. And again, this is an, another Dibco Matchbox Speed Shop, Speedy Delivery. And this one's copyright 2019. I can't remember if I got this one in 2021 or 20, 2020, but Anyhow, there it is in brown or a copperish color. I think it's more like a brown or burnt orange because it does have like an orangey look to it. Almost like a copper to me. It looks like copperish. But it might be like that burnt orange color. I don't know. I'm not sure what they call this darker orange. But there it is because, you know, here's the brighter orange on this one. And on this one, you can see it's in the family. So these two are moving parts series. Here's the brand new one in the front and the older one. And then this one is collector series with the rubber tires. So there's the differences on that. And I do have uh, a nice amount of the uh, collector series and I'm loving those uh, very much. So I'll be showing those maybe tomorrow. So come back for those. I'm gonna show you some more of the ones I've collected but I still have one more here that's brand new to open let's put this one back in here park them over there put the new ones up in front getting some really nice additions here to the to the collection loving these new new finds check this out the sea grave fire truck moving parts another nice find the sea grave well i was happy to find all these all together at walmart I don't know how many come in the series, but that's all I found. So let me know if I'm missing any. I don't, I don't, I've lost track. It's been a while since I find moving parts and wasn't even keeping track of them anymore. I think I missed out on the last shipment completely. Never got any of the, the ones that were announced. So I kind of like stopped looking. I'll figure I'll find what I find. So this one comes with a little elastic band on it. Let's get that off. Not good to leave these on. Sometimes they melt on your vehicles. And uh, it comes with this little this ladder that you connect. And there's a little hose, I think. Little hose. Let's see how this connects to this one. Oh, it just slides in. 
So obviously the hose goes towards the top. There we go. That's awesome. Wow, you can extend that pretty far up. That's cool. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And we can uh, put it back in. And there we go. And I guess we can push it further back. I'm not sure. I think, I think it might go back a little bit more after this click right here. And then we have this uh, piece right here. It swivels. So you can swivel it, create your scene or whatever, or just play with it. Very cool. Really nice fire truck. City of El Segundo Fire Department. So obviously it's from Los Angeles, California. Very cool. Let's bring them up closer. Wow, that is nice. That's a nice truck. The Seagrave. Seagrave fire truck. There's a Matchbox logo made in Thailand. And what is the copyright on this one? Copyright 2021. R11 stamped on the base. There's a little elephant up there. I think there's a good chance that this is another new model with that 2021. I have not seen this one before. And I don't have any of these in my collection. So I think it's a new model just because of the uh, copyright 2021. And uh, we are in 2022, of course. And today, I think it's August 1st of uh, 2022. Wow, just last year here in America, we were still wearing the mask or co face coverings. So it hasn't even been a year yet since we were able to take them off in public. Very cool. What do you think of this uh, fire truck? It's pretty heavy. It does have nice weight to it. I mean, the base is plastic, the chrome plastic and all that. And uh, let me show you. Let's take a look at some of the ones that are already I've collected that are moving parts series. If you've missed any of these, I do have, um, what do we start with? Let's start with this one right here. It looks pretty cool. Look at that. Really, really cool. This one is the Nissan, 2000 Nissan Xterra. And this one has the moving opening gate in the back. And look at all the details in there. It does have a wiper on the back area here. Very cool. Super nice looking, right? It's got so much detail. There you see the front. We do have the mirrors on the side. Very nice. See the handle here on the side there? That's what I mean about the... Some of the vehicles having the handles up there now on the, for the back door, back door. Very cool. And I also have this one right here. You can see the engine in different colors. Little plastic lenses. We do have the nice mirrors on the side. This one is a 2004 Honda S2000. What a beauty. Look at that color. Nice... Uh, Nice, beautiful color there. No opening doors, only the opening hood. So this is also part of the moving parts. And of course, familiar wheels, plastic tires, nice gold on the wheels, nice pearl looking metallic color. That's a pretty nice color. Windshield wipers molded right there on the glass. Beautiful interior, nice uh, steering wheel there on the left. Check out the details on the back. S2000 right on the plate, exhaust on the bottom, two little pipes showing there. Very, very cool. Love it. And here's another white vehicle. Range Rover. Opening a tailgate in the back. Pretty cool. Windshield wipers on the glass. Do have the side view mirrors. Beautiful details on the front, the side, and the back. Pretty plain inside. No extra garbage or anything. <laughs> they kept it pretty clean. 2018 Land Rover, Vogue SE, Land Rover Vogue, copyright 2017, familiar wheels on this one with the black chrome this time, another nice moving parts uh, matchbox, really cool, does have the little antenna on top there, and then we have the same one, I think it's the same one, 
Yeah, 2018 Land Rover Vogue. It was out in this black, uh, kind of like a metallic. It's got the little silver specks in there. See, it's the same vehicle, same casting. So it opens the, uh, the back here opens up. I can pop this open. Isn't that cool? Another nice moving parts in the collection. I also have this really cool uh, Jeep here. This looks like a good vehicle for the surfing trips, right? 62 Jeep Willys station wagon. So it's a Willys station wagon and it does have the opening doors. I'm trying to use the mirror as a... Uh, I usually have a little stick here. Where did I put that? To open the doors, but... Very cool. Both doors open. A lot of nice details around. All around on this one. Cool that it has the mirrors. Close the door shut. Copyright on this one. I don't see. Oh, there it is. 2018. Really nice. This one, I do have this one also in the uh, collector series, which with the rubber tires and more tricked out with with fancier wheels. You'll see it when I show the my update on that series. Here's another one in yellow, kind of like the pale yellow, looking really cool. Same thing with the opening doors. Little update on that. We saw the Divco. This is another cool one, an old Volkswagen. The opening doors. I thought this is a this is a really cool one that kind of like blends in with your old Matchbox. If you collect any of the older ones, with the opening doors, a little nice Volkswagen. Isn't that nice? Beautiful color. Close the doors up. Really nice Volkswagen. Sixty-five Type Three Fastback. Sixty-five Volkswagen. And then I have this BMW over here. In a nice blue. This one has the opening doors. White interior. Isn't that cool? Matchbox. Well, they wrote Matchbox right on the bumper there. This is so awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. And I have... This one right here. This one is another one that I have in uh, a different color in the collector series with the rubber tires and, you know, nicer wheels. But this one is really cool. It's got the nice detail trim here on the side. Details look really good. Chevrolet name on the back. They didn't paint in any of the lights. Not on the front, not on the back. No grill paint or anything like that. No mirrors on the side. I don't know if these trucks came with mirrors. I would assume at least one on these old trucks. Here's another one. Really cool. Opening hood there. You see the engine in colors. Very nice. National Parks. Park Patrol. Forest Ranger. 1950 Chevy Suburban. Very cool. This one only opens the uh, hood. The doors don't open. Only the hood in the front. And um, here's one that opens another one that just opens the hood. No, doors don't open. This is a Camaro. They didn't paint the engine on this one. But it does have nice details. California Matchbox plates. Very cool paint on the front end. 2016 Camaro. Beautiful. Another nice one. I also have the white version. Really cool. I think it's the same casting. This one does have the painted uh, engine. A little extra detail that the other one didn't have. This one says Matchbox Camaro on the plate. And yeah, it is a 2016. Had some damage on this one there. Beautiful. I think it's really nice. I just realized I got the red, white, and blue of the Camaro. I got three. So they put this one out a few times. This one also comes with the painted engine. Looks like the last one, the blue one, didn't come with the painted engine. Matchbox Chevy this time, not Camaro, just Chevy. I like how they changed the license uh, plate for each one. It is a 2016. So I have the three, red, white, and blue for those. Here's a Crown Victoria. This one opens the, the uh, only the back doors open, not the front. 
So your passenger can get in, but the driver cannot. <laughs> and both doors open. Pretty cool. Another nice uh, casting in the collection of the moving parts collection. Very cool. I have it in this other color. Also opens the back uh, doors only. Crown Victoria. And uh, there it is. Crown Victoria. It's a 2006 Ford Crown Victoria. And what they do is the, the moving doors sometimes are plastic. And those are definitely plastic. Here's a really cool pickup truck in a really nice color. This one's a Ford. The engine is just plastic, no extra color. We do have the Ford badge in the front. Nice plastic grill and plastic bumper. A lot of die cast though. And check out the big giant mirrors. Die cast uh, for the windshield wipers. No painted in lights on the back end, but here in the front, we do have nice headlights there. This one's a beauty. I love the color for it. Beautiful. 2019 Ford Ranger. Beautiful. And I have, let's see, I have, oh, you saw that one? Here we go. Grand Prix. Look at that. Opening doors. This one's also another one that gives you that vintage vibe. Look at that. Check it out. 64 Pontiac Grand Prix. What a beauty. What's the copyright on this one? 2017. So this one's been out for a while. I love it in this blue color. And I think I have one of this uh, casting in the higher uh, Matchbox Collector series. I think they call it Matchbox, Matchbox Collectors. Really cool. Can't wait to see the new ones that come out in the Matchbox Collectors as well. And then I got this one, the Buick. This one has the opening doors. No, no opening hood on this one. And what's the official name? 1983 Buick Riviera. Now I have the red one and I have the white one. 1983. This one, the door, it just popped open. It pops open every once in a while when you touch it. But, so that's kind of like a defect with the door opening and closing on the white one. This one works really well. Nice details. Beautiful casted details and nice trim on the side. Look at that. The red is amazing. I like this red and the uh, trim and silver looks really cool. Silver front, silver bumper in the back. Silverish color, not a chrome, kind of like a silverish or gray, light gray. Beautiful, nice uh, Buick Riviera. Here's the white one. The white one is uh, red interior. Same wheels as the other one, I think. Let me see. Same kind of uh, details and just doors. And again, I have a problem with this one. I gotta like shut it a couple times before it clicks in. Well, it might not happen today. <laughs> Look at that. All right, I'm just gonna have to leave it open. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of the uh, videos I'm throwing up there on the screen. For you guys to enjoy, click on one of those and uh, we can hang out together some more as you uh, enjoy some more videos, some more cars. You get to see more cars from my collection. I'm enjoying and loving these new additions to the collection. They are so, so nice. I'm very happy with all of these new cars. Let's put the big giant one in the back. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.